Today we'll be talking about sex ed or the birds and the bees. Pollen from the flower and the man bee comes together and creates something so much greater than the both of them. Honey! And then before you know it, that's when the stork brings the baby. Any questions? How does pregnancy happen? Dismissed. She is so stupid. I don't believe this. She doesn't know what she's talking about. We know how not to get pregnant. I know that whole video was ridiculous. I do. We'll do it that much. I mean, you trust me, right? To pull yeah. out? Yeah. We'll be fine. You we'll know, you know. Yeah, we know. Yeah, I hope so. I wonder who that can be. Hi, who are you? Hi, I'm the contraceptive salesman, conveniently here for you. I'm here to educate you on the wonderful world of birth control. Mind if I barge in? Thanks. Who is this? Who are you? Hi. Got some great stuff to show you guys. You're gonna be glad I'm here. Let's start by understanding how pregnancy happens. Watch this. Hi, I'm the Fact Fairy, and I'm here to tell you everything you need to know. Let's start with the pregnancy equation. First, the sperm is released into the woman's body from the man's penis. And an egg is released from the ovary into the fallopian tube. The sperm travel through the cervix into the uterus, looking for the egg. When the sperm reach the egg in the fallopian tube, it only takes one sperm to fertilize the egg. Once the egg is fertilized, it travels back into the uterus and implants, and that's the beginning of a pregnancy. So now we know pregnancy can happen from intercourse, but how likely is that to happen? Let's take a look. If a hundred male-female couples have sex over the course of a year and don't do anything to prevent pregnancy, 85 to 90 of them will be pregnant by the end of the year. We better not have sex because I'm definitely not going to get pregnant. Baby, I promise you we'll be in at 10%. Those are pretty big odds. We better take a look at what protection you can use in case you're ready to start having sex. Okay, now you have so many options. I'm armed to the T in birth control. These are doses of hormones that stop ovulation so that no egg can be released from the ovaries. Most hormonal methods require prescription and are highly effective if used correctly. Unfortunately, none of these methods protect against sexually transmitted infections or STIs. The newest method on the market is Implanon. A similar method is Depo-Provera, also known as the shot. Other hormonal methods include the patch, the Nuva ring, and the pill. I heard the pill will make it harder for you to get pregnant later. The fact is, birth control pills only suppress your fertility while you're taking them. Once you stop taking them, your fertility returns. What if I forget to take my pill or I miss my depo shot? Well, there's always emergency contraception, also known as Plan B, also known as morning after pill, also known as you messed up last night. Hey girl, what's up? Why you call me? Oh, I'm about to tell you something. I'm really worried that I might be pregnant. Are you serious? Yes, me and Brandon had thought we used protection. What you mean you thought she used protection? Because he thought I was on the pill, but I'm not. And I thought he pulled out, but he didn't. What should I do? Well, I mean, don't worry just yet. You ever heard of Plan B? Um, the morning at the pill? Yeah. Isn't that an abortion? 
No, it's this pill that you take, that, well, that you can take up to five days after you had unprotected sex, and it basically prevents pregnancy, pregnancy before the birth. How do I get it? Well, since you're 17, you can get it from a pharmacist, but if you was younger, then you would have to get a prescription. How much does it cost? It really depends on where you go. It can range from anywhere to free from $50. All right, I think you might do it. Are you gonna come with me? Yeah, but you wanna tell Brandon first? Um, no, I have to take care of me first. Do you have any methods in there for me? Oh, yes, sir. Let's talk some berries. The latex male condom is a highly effective method against STIs in pregnancy if used correctly. You want to keep them in a cool, dry place and away from heat for a long period of time. So storing them in your wallet or back pocket is okay for a short period of time, but not long term. First of all, you need to check for the expiration date. So to use a condom correctly, you need to make sure that the penis is already erect. To check the condom for an air bubble, make sure that the package hasn't been torn. You need to push the condom over to one side, open it like this. You want to make sure that the condom is coming through the ring. You want to hold the tip so that there's no air bubbles in there. And then you roll the condom down, getting all the air bubbles out. The space is here at the top to hold the semen. After ejaculation, hold the rim of the condom as he pulls away from the vagina. To dispose of the condom, you want to throw it away in the trash can and not in the toilet so it won't clog the plumbing. There are lots of different brands, sizes, shapes, and colors, so find the one that's right for you. Wow, it prevents pregnancy and infection? Is there something like that in there for me? As a matter of fact, there is. Check out the female condom. The female condom is easy to insert once you learn how. It's made of polyurethane, which is good for those who have allergies to latex. It protects against HIV and AIDS and pregnancies. To insert the female condom, you squeeze the inner ring, insert into the vagina until it falls in place, making sure that the penis enters into the condom, not above or below. To remove, you simply pull it out. Any other questions? Can you get pregnant from pre-cum? Yeah, and I heard there's a lot of sperm in it. Not true about pre-cum. Watch this. Actually, there's very little sperm in pre-ejaculatory fluid or pre-cum. Baby, I think we should use condoms. What? So all of a sudden you want to use condoms. Why is that? I mean, I'm tired of having to pull out. You think I'm messing around or something, don't you? No, that's not it. I just don't want to take any chances. You know with pregnancy. Condoms can mess up the mood and it can break. I won't let it mess up the mood, and they only break when they're not used correctly. But still, it isn't going to feel good. You know you're not going to be able to feel the difference. Well, if it's that important to you, I guess we can try it out. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, babe. <laughs> I've saved the best for last. It's free. 100% effective if used or done correctly. No messing around. And it's no side effects. It's abstinence. Watch these guys. I'm bored. You know what we should do? I don't know. What? Let's have sex. What? Yeah, you know, everybody's doing it. Remember the movie Juno? Of course I remember the movie Juno. Juno got pregnant. Whatever. Uh, we could do so many other things, like, uh, we can go swimming, we could read manga, watch anime, uh, we can watch movies. Besides, we don't even have birth control. I'm just not ready. Well... Okay, let's go to the movies then. Okay. Wow, there's so many great birth control methods that we can use. Yeah! Yay, protection! <laughs> For more information, go to PlannedParenthood.org Or call 1-800-230-PLAN to make an appointment at a health center near you.